Hello friends, welcome back to tutorials. Our next topic is Myhill Nirod theorem. It states that if the definition of the language L divides all strings into finite number of classes, then the language L is a regular language. For example, if L is a set of all strings which ends with 0. Now this definition divides all strings into two classes. Strings which doesn't end with 0 and second class is strings which ends with 0. If a language divides all strings into n classes, right? Then the finite automata which will accept this language will have n states, each state corresponding to each class of a string. It would be more clear after this example. Let L be a language. It is a set of those strings which have even number of zeros and odd number of ones. Now this definition of language has divided all strings of 0 and 1 into 4 classes. Right? Let it be A, B, C and D classes. Then class A corresponds to those strings which have odd number of 0 or and odd number of 1. Class B will correspond to those strings which have even number of 0 and even number of 1 and class C will correspond to those strings which have odd number of 0, even number of 1 and class D will correspond to those strings which have even number of 0 and odd number of 1. Now, we have to construct a finite automata which will accept the language L. Since the language has divided all strings of 0 and 1 into 4 classes, the finite automata which will accept this language must have at least four states, each corresponding to the each class of each class of strings 0 and 1. Right. Since there are four classes, there will be four states. Now state A corresponds to class A, state B corresponds to class B, state C corresponds to class C, and state D corresponds to class D. Now when we apply any string of class A, the machine will jump from its initial state to state A and when we apply any string of class B, then machine will jump from its initial state to state B. And when we apply any string of class C, the machine will jump from its initial state to state C. And when we apply any string which belongs to class D, then machine will jump from its initial state to state D. Now, let, uh, when we apply any string which has even number of 0 and even number of 1, then machine will be in a state B. Now we have to find out its transition. Here the machine has read when the machine is in a state B it has already read a string which has even number of zeros and even number of 1. When we apply when it reads 0 then number of zeros in the string which has read will become odd. Right. Then it will go to state C which corresponds to the class of strings which have odd number of zeros and even number of 1. And when it reads 1 then number of 1's will become odd and number of zeros will remain even. So it should jump to state D which corresponds to the class of those strings which have even number of zeros and odd number of 1. 
even number of zeros and odd number of ones. Here it is odd number of zeros and even number of ones. Now we have to find the transition of state C. When the machine is in state C, it means we have applied a string which has odd number of zeros and even number of one. When we apply zero here, when the machine is in state C, then the number of zeros will become E1, right? And number of ones will remain E1. So it should go to the state which corresponds to even number of zero and even number of one. So when you apply zero, it will jump to state P. Similarly, in state D, when we apply one, right? When we apply one, then the number of ones in the string which the machine has been read will become E1 and number of zeros will also be E1. So when we apply one, it will jump to the state which corresponds to even number of zeros and even number of ones. Now let us find its transition for input symbol one. When we apply one, it would be odd number of zeros and odd number of one, right? So it will jump to a state which corresponds to odd number of zeros and odd number of one. That is state A. Right. Now let's find the transition of state D for input symbol one. Here the machine has already processed a string which has even number of zeros and odd number of one. When we apply one, right, then number of ones will become even and the number of zeros will remain even. So it will jump to state P. Now we have to find its transition for input symbol zero. When we apply zero, the number of zeros in the string which machine has processed will become odd, right? And number of ones will remain odd. So it should jump to state A which corresponds to odd number of zeros and odd number of one. Now let us find the transition of state A. It state A corresponds to odd number of zeros and odd number of one. When will we apply zero? Right? Then a string will have even number of zeros and odd number of ones. And when we apply one, then the number of one in a string will become even and number of zeros will remain odd. So it should jump on a state C. Right. Now the finite automata should accept only those languages which have even number of zeros and odd number of ones. Now the state corresponds to that language is D. So we will make it final state because when we apply any string of, of even number of zero and odd number of one to machine, it will jump to state D. Now we have to make it final state. When we don't apply any string, that is when the input is zero number of zero and zero number of one, right? Then where machine should be. Now here we have considered zero is an even number. If a machine has read zero number of zeros and zero number of ones, right? 
it means the machine has read has uh, processed a string of even number of zeros and even number of ones so we have made state b which corresponds to even number of zero and even number of one the initial state of this finite automata why because when we don't apply any string right machine will remain in state b right which corresponds to even number of zero and even number of one because zero number of zeros and zero number of one right means we have not applied anything will be considered as a string of even number of zeros and even number of ones thank you very much <laughs>